All right, guys, Luke here, and today I have an interesting design from our recent SpeedCat competition for pushback. In this design, the teams, I think I think it was like 29 teams, competed for two hours to create a fast and effective design. And we're going to be looking at Boots' design today. And this one, I actually quite like. Very, This is very unique because, of course, you have the pretty standard um, kind of the rubber band mesh roller like we had in over under. However, this is not a change up style intake or a snail intake where it goes in a C shape, right? However, this is like a a arm. It's like a, a, a dunk mech, it's an arm. So it, this is a motorized arm that kind of just throws these balls onto the goals one at a time. And I actually kind of like this. He said that you don't need to be able to score like a bunch of them at the same time. And I kind of agree with that because if you can tune the speed that this exits at and you just shoot it, score, uh, you, it scores it straight into the uh, control zone, then you don't even need to score that many at the same time. Plus it still should have fast scoring, right? You can see that there's this uh, linkage here, this mechanism that whenever it's, it's banded up, so then this stops the balls from being able to fall out whenever you're scoring. But then when the, the top part comes down, it would push this down and then the ball can uh, load into the chamber. So yeah, that's actually super cool. And I really like this design. Super impressive that it's done in just under two hours. The full CAD said so the TLDR is that six motor drive on uh, 600 RPM, 2.75, so super fast drive. And one other thing is that they have, he has uh, wedges and they're gonna be really important this year, I feel, because, because they're, being um like people a lot of people are thinking about hoarding or and also like hogging the the goals it'd be really effective to use these wedges to get inside the drive especially since people don't have side plates anymore you can just lock up their drives if they have a eight wheel drive four on each side you can just use these wedges to stick inside their drive like what ben 515r said a couple years ago and you just lock up their drive and then you can control their their movement if you're a good driver but that's uh that's the very basics of this robot um but if we look further into it they has, they has these poly pieces still i think staying within the poly limit which is pretty impressive because i don't i mean a lot of people were, were really upset about that poly limit but honestly looking at this season so far you don't really need to have that many pieces like that last year it looks it looks fine he has uh probably around 10 ish that's one two three four five and then there's i guess there's more maybe on the bottom for a park but there's honestly not that many. So, yeah. One thing that we did talk about, oh, uh, is that he will have an ability for his uh, his uh, alliance to just straight up drive onto his robot, right? Just park onto his robot. And for that to work, uh, you need to have two more pieces of poly here over the, let me just pull up a, a drawing tool, to uh, over these wedges, right? And you would basically just drive onto his robot and hit a park and that would be really a really easy way to score those 30 points because that's a pretty big differential once again once my pen tool is loaded i will draw that and it is loaded now okay so it will look like this where it just has this piece here and he they would just drive onto this onto his robot and kind of like sit like this on top of this robot of course the brain placement might be different so then you're Alliance Hunter can hit this park, but then after this, you're able to score that 30 points. But anyways, if you're looking for the, the Roblox server, I will put that down in the description so you guys can join and look at these designs. We'll have many, many more other designs coming up, but this is just one of them. I think I think I'll be giving this an S tier. Super, super nice. Also, they have, he has these flexible, this is flexible layer to help index the, the balls in. I think that it'd be nice to have a have a hood over it or like a zip tie hood over it, so then these balls don't like bounce around if you're playing contact contact play. But you know that's that is um, kind of just your personal preference. I think he's not using. I think he might be only using. Okay, I was like, yeah, he's using eight motors here. Um, one for the one for the arm, right? I think that's a hundred RPM arm, and then one for the intake, direct intake. Very nice placement of your your powered or powering sprocket as well very nice